light pollution is probably the most challenging uh, issue facing you know, observing the sky that, that we have because most people don't really know what it is. It's just an experience that you're denied, so you can't tell what you're missing. The mission of the observatory is to take people out of their everyday life and put them in a completely different mind space so that they think about bigger thought. As light polluted as our sky is, you can get a lot out of the idea that you can look through a telescope at Jupiter or Saturn or the moon and you can see it in a way that you could never have imagined before and that transcends seeing it as a picture. What the city is in the process of doing, and, it, and it's a long-term activity, is converting all of the city's streetlights, uh, for which the city has responsibility, uh, so that they are lights that are shielded toward the sky and that point down to the extent humanly possible, and that are LEDs, uh, which reduces the power significantly. The future with respect to light pollution, I think, is actually kind of positive, um, because cities that have no incentive to necessarily care about light pollution care and and Los Angeles is one of them and so lots of cities are getting on the bandwagon that says you know there are consequences associated with having um, daylight during the night there are things we can do one could put in the right kind of lights or sensors and things to turn them off when they're not needed. Shielding lights is important, but for somebody to do that, it has to be worthwhile to them. Luckily, of course, folks have our national parks, and um, a lot of those are places you can see the night sky. And there's amenities there, people can get out into nature, and I'm hoping they get out of their tents at night and look up to the skies, because they're far from our cities, and you can still see the Milky Way, you can still see meteor showers, and you can experience the Perseid meteors that inspired me to become an astronomer uh, yourself. Uh, you just bring out a sleeping bag and maybe a, a cot or a lounge chair, lay down, and take in the night sky. ancient times, people would look at the sky because their lives depended on it. And now we don't need that, but the sky still is the place that you look to answer some of those fundamental questions. Who are we? Why are we here? How did any of this come to be? Even in the vastness of the universe that we now know exists, there is a place for us, and, and we live in one of the most exciting times where we can actually understand that place. Those of us who are concerned about it, getting masses of people to a dark sky is the only way we can make people aware of it. <laughs> yeah. And then hopefully they'll fight then to preserve it. <laughs>